Good morning, everybody. It is October the 16th, 2017. Time to kick off another trading week, another trading day. Hypothetical or simulated performance results have certain limitations, unlike an actual performance record. Simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may be under overcompensated for the impact of any of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they're designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account well is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Well, we had news over the weekend. China is injecting a lot more money into their banking system. Um, they got a big real estate bubble going on. Their PPI numbers were a little better than forecast. Uh, they dropped hints that their economic activity numbers would be coming in higher than forecast. I think it's this week is the meeting of the uh, Chinese Congress to solidify the current government, make the changes that they make at the party level. So a big week for China. Uh, little news out of Europe, uh, other than Spain and Catalonia are playing cat and mouse with each other right now. Spain has given them an ultimatum. Um, Catalonia hasn't accepted it yet. Put out a statement that they're thinking about starting their own central bank. Catalonia, uh, Spain will fight for it because it's 40% of their GDP. Uh, so we'll see how that develops. And in the United States today, we have Empire State Manufacturing Survey looking for a plus 20 number. I have no feel for that. Could go either way. But we don't have a lot of news uh, in our area. As far as crude oil goes, crude oil's up, gold is up. Iraq entered the city of Kirkuk. There were uh, casualties uh, being reported from the Kurdish side. There were some clashes. Uh, the price of crude oil is responding as you would think it should. Gold, based on what's going on between Spain and Catalonia, maybe Iraq is doing what you think it should do. Uh, China is back in the gold market. That's been very, very supportive. Um, the euro is down. Treasuries were off a bit, but they've come back somewhat. So. I'd say the news is mixed, um, which ought to yield trading ranges for all of our markets today. Uh, so uh, the first sell will be 2327 in Treasury, sell one. Second sell will be 31 to 03. Uh, closer we can get it to the buck, the better it is. 23 is very, very aggressive. We had a high on Friday of 26. So structurally, you'd be selling 25 fives, a tick inside of that bar's high. Uh, on the buy side, because we have a B volume wise and TPO wise, we'll make it 13 to 17, and then 5 to 9. We were cold here uh, yesterday. I think we got up to 63 degrees. Um, supposed to be in the 70s all week, so nice weather returns. Got a little rain out of it, not a lot. Most of the rain went around us. Big rains I saw in Chicago. My wife suffered uh, in the Chicago airport on a um, connecting flight, and uh, her flight was canceled at about 8 o'clock that night, so she and some other people rented a car and drove all night to get back to Wichita. But that, those were very, very big storms that were streaming into Chicago on Saturday, and uh, the airlines could not take off or land under those conditions as quickly as they can under normal circumstances. So planes weren't getting in, planes weren't getting out, Flights were canceled. Okay, um, four to eight is number one. Eleven to fifteen, cell one. Uh, we'll make it twenty-three, twenty-seven, cell two. On the uh, buy side, twenty-four to twenty-eight, number one. Seventeen to twenty-one, buy one and five to nine by two. You know, with um, 
you'd expect treasuries to have been a little little stronger overnight than they were, so maybe we'll see it reflected in the day session. We'll have to see here in a moment. Let me get these down. I'm going to try to get an appointment this morning with the eye doctor. I bought an eye patch this weekend. That's the best thing that's happened to my eye, but my left eye is almost swollen shut, so... Um, it'll be interesting me trying to read the screens with one eye once again, but the eye patch is probably the best thing that has happened to the eye since I started this treatment. Looking at gold. have this low volume number right below 10. So first cell will be 9, 11. 13 to 15 will be cell 2. On the buy side, um, 2 to 4. And then the breakout came from 1300, so we'll make 98 to 1300 buy 2. at the euro um, probably somewhere around man well, 118 20 118 even this is there's reasonable support you can see that London low right there at 1805 we have that London high right there at 1822 We've got this low at 20, so uh, we'll make 20 to 30 by 1, 118 even, 118.10 by 2. On the uh, sell side, um, 50 to 60, sell 1, 75 to 85, sell 2. <coughs> Not much news to move things around today. Um, the um, I think Spain gave Catalonia eight days last week an ultimatum. So I don't know when that comes due, but everybody says that um, Flanders and their talk about secession is more important than Catalonia and Spain for the EU and. I don't know much about that, but if it is the case, uh, we'll be reading more about it in the not too distant future. Okay, crude oil. We've got this low volume number here at 35. We've got an attractor basically up at 53. So if we bust through this 30 area structurally, uh, your next sell would be 52.85. 53, excuse me, yeah, 52, 85, 53, 05, somewhere in this area right up here, 08, maybe. Uh, so it is pointed higher because of what's going on in Kirkuk. Uh, shots were fired. Uh, the Kurds want their independence. Uh, the Pico Sykes uh, division and splitting up of the Ottoman Empire has not worked very well from day one. But those that are in control of those countries that were ill-designed won't give it up easily without a fight. It's their turn to be in power and get all the bennies that go with being in power. So um, right now we're pointed higher and so I would imagine maybe stops above 50 so 52.75, 52.50, 52 52.75 sell one, 53, 53 and a quarter sell two, on the buy side, 5175, 52 by 1. And then 51 and a quarter, 5150 by 2.
and the e-mini uh, I believe the e-mini is still slowly higher um, Fifty six and a half is resistance. Um, everything volume, everything is moving up. As long as we can stay above uh, twenty five forty five, twenty five fifty, this market can trade higher. Uh, sell failure to take out fifty six fifty and hold it. Followed by fifty nine to sixty one. Uh, pretty hard to get much more than five or six uh, handled trading range early in the session. Fifty fifty two by one. 45, 47 by 2. Empire Manufacturing Survey, 20. I don't have a feel. Could go either way. Uh, so, a quiet Monday trading range would be my guess. We'll see if that happens. The bias in the e is to the upside. Okay, uh, there's a, an error at the server, so the automatic mailing of the emails that go out to you will be delayed until Peter can get that fixed. I don't know what's the matter with the survey, but getting an error code back. So those will be delayed, um, and hopefully not delayed by too much. I'm uh, going to take, I, so I can't get that uh, part of my morning chores done, but I've got some other places to get the data posted. I will be back with you as soon as possible.